tune he's been working oh, okay. on. Okay. And each time I have him play the whole thing over again and, and add a new one. See? Yeah, that's good. And uh, there they are. Well, that's and uh, so what you, you, study sometimes. you can you copy know, them off if you want to, or you, yeah. can, you can read them off to him and write them down at the same time. And I thought what we'd do this time, I'll just copy them off. we would just have him go, go through all of them, and you can tape that. And uh, I'll just my tape. Yeah, I'll just give it. That's what I want to now, I'm, See, this is all a technicality. I can't play this fiddle, so how could I sit here and say it? What I, all my evaluation is going to be for them, I, I could write these up now, really, you know, uh, will be the value of it, because I'll ask him what improvements you've made. I'll ask each of the instructors that. And then what I'll do is evaluate the, the, the value of the program and find out from you if you, you know, what if, you think it's helped you with and all that the last time we meet. I'll just ask you about If, if you want to get nice about it and see the improvement that he has made, you can take the first, second, or third tape anywhere you want to along there and he can play the same numbers on this tape and you can see whether there's been any improvement or not. <coughs> and uh, this reason I did that. Yeah. And uh, there's no use in me teaching him ten tunes at one session because he wouldn't remember them. But uh, uh, if you want to, uh, I'll, I'll just write on this paper which one it is, and and then we can. Uh, this is session number ten, and it. <coughs> Uh, you want me to put uh, on here that the, that you're here for this one? Or yeah, that's okay. That makes any difference to them, really. They just, uh, like I say, this is just all this is doing is giving more emphasis to their program, you know, is to have. The uh, thing is, the reason I don't feel so awkward about this is because I know more about it than they do. What little I know, I mean, I've, I've been around it more than they have. You know Bob Walsh, John, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, if you want to, you can write on that yeah. bottom line there that you the, you are the coordinator, and this is your, uh, and, the, the, and that you're present on this. You can right write there? that, yeah, right on yeah. the second line there, and uh, and you might write side one on there too. Okay. I'll put observer. Yeah. Well, they call it coordinator. Oh, do they? Oh, well. I think so. I got the letter. Observe is a shorter word. I mean, it's <laughs> room. He'll take what you say because he can't do anything about it. <coughs> I think I've got a good job of taping all that. This thing does a useful job. Oh, I bet you're better than most of them with that. And we're out of everybody's noise here, you see. Yeah, this is a good spot. Well, and it's, it's, this would be good acoustics out here because there's nothing that much. That's right. Concrete floor and all yeah. that. It's kind of like a pretty big old kitchen. Mm -hmm. That might be a little loud on there.
foreign to him except that one in Ragtimani, I think. And maybe, well, he did play some Sally Gooden. There's the only three that aren't completely new to him. So, uh, that he, you mean that he knew before? He just, well, the three that he knew yeah. anything about yeah. before, and he needs a lot of improvement on them, so yeah. I can do them too. Yeah. The next tune is Wednesday Night Walks. Did you want to put your one up here? Or? Uh, yeah, that would be fine for me. But I mean, you can get my notes and all that. I'm oh. not going to give them. I'll write a right written report, but I'll give them there. <laughs>
that A string, A string part in there. He got in. Remember what I'm talking about? No, not really. <laughs> stuff like this and Mm-hmm. 
tempted to play that tune before. I'll run over for you. part of it, he's got down real good. Yeah. The easy part, he's having trouble with it. Thank you. 
Maybe you better do it first. Well, I have trouble right here, too. And see you now. If they are interested in traditional <laughs> oh, yeah. music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And these, uh, yeah, these, these are, are all traditional. All traditional. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to be yeah. real, real particular about that because a lot of other fancy stuff he could have been learning as he would know. I know this is what they want. I know I thought that's what they're trying to perpetuate. Yeah, it's more yeah. tiny. Yeah. Okay. And traditional. they gotta, got to go to somebody that knows it in yeah. order to do that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Seconds are yeah. uh, we're metronomes. That's yeah. all we are. That's right. That's why it's important to have a second that keeps time. Uh -huh. And uh, you, to do it without it is is even harder. But you, you see know? that improvement in it. Oh yeah, right yeah. off the bat, two or three tunes. Ragtime Andy was right away. It was right yeah. off the bat. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. And boy, that's to me that's one of the, the most important things is to learn time. And the next thing, perfect notes. Yeah, <laughs> get clean notes. And move them on and fiddle with yeah. everything. Yeah, because. Boy, the more you're around them, the more you'll hear people get up there and you'll catch it. Once you start listening, then you've got a good enough ear now that you've listened to that feeling. Boy, well, they'll speed up like that and you think, oh, and then there's no slowing down. So you there's can't no way. You can't you them down. You, they have to stop and start over. It's all yeah. they can do. Yeah. And the next thing you know, of course, a lot of times in a group, when you're playing the group, you'll get a guitar or a banjo player, especially banjo players. He, he and they'll sit in there and try and note with you. And the next thing you know, they've got you going so fast, you can't even make your clean note. He wants you to play it his way. That's right. But you know, one of the tunes, one of the tunes they do that the most of, to me, and it always flops, is Whiskey for Breakfast. Yeah. They try and play it fast. And yeah. uh, as many notes as are in that tune, there's just no way. You can you know, clean notes. You're going to slur them, aren't you? That's if what you want to show off that much, just put a little more in your fiddle in. Yeah, that's right. And another thing about a guitar a crowd, you, I tell them, if you want to do something, put something in it as you go along. Don't just keep a gain of speed on yeah. it. Put some stuff in there if you want to do something. That's better than winding it up tighter yeah. all the time. Boy, that's what they do. No, you really, your time is good. Lord, there's no comparison between the last time I heard you. I've got you on tape, too, at home. Say, mm -hmm. down Golden probably was the last time. But you, you weren't there this year, were you? No. no I so it was either last year or maybe we were somewhere else last year, maybe or something. But anyway, I, that's the first thing I noticed about you, which was your time. 
Well, I've yeah. worked on that quite a little bit. Yeah. That's what oh, yeah. starting well, my way. had to. I can tell that. <laughs> Liberty is next to you. Uh, this is all supposed to be without a second, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, but I mean, it all is. Everybody I thought is, maybe for the last time where we might make one okay. that had seconds on it. I don't know what, what they think about that. Oh, I don't, uh, uh, they're it, not the, oh, let's see, you nobody's make, had seconds. You make it sound a lot better, you know, yeah. for one time, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. because anybody can do better if he's got back. Got somebody to help him with his time, too. Yeah. But you're doing fine on your time. Well, Liberty is your name. Yeah, if you want to towards the end there. I'll, now, he I'll go up my little Martin guitar this time. Uh, he did know this tune a little bit, not okay. too good. What were the ones you knew, Durang's before? Durang's uh, and Liberty and Rag Diamond. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to remember that. Okay. Now, the rest of them are new tunes. Yeah. Okay. A lot of them he never heard of even. Yeah, I bet you hadn't heard of Bully of the Town. And a lot of them haven't heard of Bully of the Town. A lot I of them haven't heard it, but I had It used to be the, the great round dance team. The one yeah. step, you know. Yeah. yeah. The only person I ever heard play that was Russell Costa. Well, back when I was playing the fiddle for dances, that's uh, all wanted. Mm -hmm. We'll either mm -hmm. down to round dance by. Yeah. So, uh, Did you play it once, please, for me, please? What? Liberty? Liberty? Liberty. You play that a lot of times. You got too much stuff going through his head here. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'll see you there. about this devil's dream yeah. at all. And you know, it's a booger. Yeah. Eight. Straight out the start. <laughs> up on the east thing. The east thing. No. There you go. Well, 
You put one, you put one note in there. Too many up here of your ring finger. You got me doing it now. <laughs> I like to put that in there. Well, it's difficult. Yeah. But there's nothing any more traditional than the living oh, dream. Yeah, that's an old, old thing. Very old. Thank you. 
first yeah, part on yeah. that. I like that. Sounds good. <clears throat> second or third step why he fell in the corner and they didn't have any fiddle player so what they done they come to me I was 14 and we had a banjo player <coughs> so uh, I said oh I was kind of backwards I said oh I can't do that I can't do that oh yeah you gotta do this see. so I finally got up there and they did 15 minutes step and I was so tired I couldn't hold, hold yeah. my fiddle up <coughs> and as soon as I got done that they had another set on the floor and they said, let's go, let's go. I said, no, I don't give out. Take up a collection for him. So they, t- 
took up a collection for me and I had to play this. Yeah. And we played all night. And from there on, I was a dance fiddler. Yeah. Oh, well, it was, it was, you got to remember too that uh, you, uh, the fiddlers came in with the Pia Settlers. Because you yeah. couldn't carry a piano on your back, mm -hmm. but you could sure carry a fiddle, they dropped the fiddle in, a, in a sack or anything, see. So that's the only instrument they had. That's the only entertainment these people had in these hills down in here. Well, anywhere in the United States. There's fiddlers everywhere. They're up north, you run into Norwegian, and all the Scandinavian, and they're all fiddlers up in there. All of them. You'd be amazed at the different types of fiddling there. I've been all but that That old boy, may, they may have had a fiddler that maybe knew two or three tunes. But that's okay. That, well, that was enough to dance to, wasn't it? That's that, right. Because they're not listening to what's being played. They're listening to that beat. And if he didn't play the same one all the time, why they were mad about it? Yeah, yeah. They, 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 just so they could dance. I tell you, one thing I saw happen, and it just show you the difference in the types of feeling. That's why I'm glad that these youngsters are some of them are learning traditional again, because yeah. there's history behind this. I could sit here and tell you all night about a lot of this. But down there at Forsyth, two or three years ago, Billy Ward won the contest, and they had a square dance after it. And Bob Walsh played for the square dance. Well, Bob can get a good dance beat going. When Billy didn't play for the square dance. All right. Billy was standing back there behind, and he had won everything. So Bob said, well, come on up and take over from him. And he was playing something like Sally Good or something. And there was about six sets going out there. Now, they had some good dancers from over in Ozark County yeah, and yeah. Haney County. Yeah. They were really kicking. I mean, they were jigging and everything. And they had the boy, I mean, they were just really going at it. And the second Billy started playing, the head started looking like this. And didn't they have lost time because he had no dance beats. See. Didn't have no he started throwing in all this stuff he did, and they stopped dancing. They had to quit the dance. These are losing the meter right there. Yeah, there's no, there was no time to have to dance to. So. They, uh, there's, That's the there's difference, a difference between, the difference sure. between time and meter and rhythm. They're not all the same. And if you haven't got all three of them, there's something lacking. Yeah. The yeah. boys stopped that dance right off there, and they he, were just looking around like somebody had turned the lights off or something. And he really. took first place in the contest, but he yeah. couldn't play with the dance. He couldn't play with the dance, see. But that's, uh, sometime, I'll tell you more where you need to get on with this, but it's, it's fascinating. I, uh, some of the things I've learned along the way about this. Too. And another thing is you're interviewing different ones, and they've got different masters every time, and yeah. he's got his version of everything. Now, well, well, yeah, one thing about this that makes this never boring and that's this, is, and it also it reflects the pioneers that moved into this country. This is purely an individual you thing. Producing the cover. Nobody right. plays exactly like somebody else. And you watch. If they do, one of us will always say, "Well, I, I know of a boy that uh, learned from Lonnie Robertson." You can tell it. And everybody will say, "Well, he needs to get his own style, don't they?" And well, he is. He's starting to do that. They will get their own style. But uh, but it's just, it's not a thing to brag about that you play exactly like somebody. You may play close to him, and you've learned something. But you need to have your own little style. I don't want him to learn to play exactly like I do. It's all right from somebody to say, "Well, I know who you who you learn from." Right. But you want to have you don't want to be a carbon copy. No. Nope. That's the reason that I. I thought I'd teach it to him because he probably wouldn't learn it from anybody else unless you learn it from Jay Cockermore. Yeah. Yeah.
doggy stuff stuff. I feel you had a hard one on him every once in a while because you need to tie their wings on stuff like that. And Dusty Miller is <coughs> traditional enough, but the way they play it now isn't. Yeah, well, yeah, they Texas style it down. And I, I wouldn't say that. It's I, an old horn. It wasn't by that name, but it's an old horn pipe. I wouldn't say that I play it traditional. Real, I don't know. I've got a little Texas in my style. Well, you bound to have anybody well, who, who's heard it that doesn't have now, nowadays, I don't see how you can hear it without having that. It'll rub off on you a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. Hard to start. 
to be an instructor is being able to see what he's doing wrong and showing him how to fix it now. Lots of good fiddle players are no good to teach oh, wow. somebody else.
It's got an F change in it, you know? That, that pretty anything? No. <laughs> a lot of the older ones played it in A and some of them cross tuned. Yeah. Uh, A's what I think I played it in, I think. It sounds good there. It goes it? to G, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And you play in D, it goes, G, it goes to F. G, G goes to F, okay. Yeah. I play it in G, I can play it either way. I'm trying, so you think you don't do quite so good at it. Play one with him. 
Oh, well, uh, he, does he want to work on a new one or? Well, or whatever. Why don't you go ahead okay. and it'll, it'll might give him okay. a little more chance to coordinate up, you know. You pretty well to pitch? I should be. I haven't played this one for a few days, but it's not hard enough. I can't get to St. Louis and we're at the Arts and I was walking around and had it for sale. And what is that? Got a ball 18? Ooh. Well, I'm out. How's your age? Oh, don't change to me. Let me change.
you know. Uh, or whatever you run to do. Well, I've been teaching them you and every time. Yeah. Right. Uh, we got, we got just about half a take. I wonder what I was trying to teach you this time. You know, it's pretty hard with her. Oh. And I get two more because I got <laughs> may not get it all down on that half a tape. Well, why don't we uh try the great eagle? Okay. That's about as bad as you can get. <laughs> and you know anything about it either. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll run over and you listen. And then I'll it's about as traditional as anything, and uh, I think I've got Howdy Forster's version of it. It's not as good as Howdy Forster's, but I think it's his version. I've got his record on it. That's the way I thought it was. He starts out on this part here that nobody else plays. I got an awful disadvantage of watching me because I'm thinking backwards. Now.
you know, it's going to the next part. It's a little easier. Back the first part, let that rest fall. tapes about the way I play a fiddle. So you did you like about that. But well I, I never yeah. have said anything about it. That's all right. I mean if the thing is in a way it is an advantage <laughs> because you're not throwing in too much wild stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's just the basic tune. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think that's an advantage to it. 
I'll tell you another thing, I'm going to leave here in just a little while because you're just working on me tuning out. But you really got a good variety of stuff there. The tunes are all traditional. Mm -hmm. all right, and you're up into the 20th century, that's okay. Uh, your rags came in around the, right after the gay 90s and all that. Your mm -hmm. rags, especially then up around the First World War and then up into the tw 20s and 30s, your rags. And your waltzes, of course, they came in dirt right around the Civil War. When the yeah. waltzes got to this country. Older ones back, didn't know any waltzes at all. No, first, first fiddlers I ever knew. Well, who, what, nobody waltzed in the, uh, this was a, more or less a city thing, the waltzing city. They, they didn't know anything uh, about it? It, it came, they, they evolved about the mid-1800s. Mid, mid, mid she was all hoedowns and hornpipes. Oh yeah, well, that's what they danced to. In fact, did they even, until round dancing came in, when, in the teens probably? Mm, the early 20s. The early 20s. Yeah, uh, there, was, there wasn't any reason to waltz at all. Now, I think mm -hmm. they waltz more up in New England I'm sure they and up in there yeah. because they had more of that minuet dancing and all that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, from Europe, the waltz came on over, you know, to those people. But, uh, no, I like, uh, he's got one one thing, one, one more tune he might learn, though, the type that I think is important for these, and a lot of these young fiddlers don't know any of them, are some of these rags like KC Stomps, see, That's right. East Tennessee Blues and some of yeah. those, and they don't know any of those. They don't know any no, of them. No, And those are good traditional tunes. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. by tradition, we don't have to go back 200 years to be traditional oh, no. now. No, no. I'm going back 60, 70 years. Yeah. And those were... Uh, well, well, most of them say in the last 50 years is yeah. the traditional. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I sure... I found this very interesting. This is one of the best ones I've been to. Well, thank you. Yeah, I got to go up to Dean Johnson still. He just started. Oh, he did. He just started. Yeah. Now I've got to. How are you doing these about everything?